Are you tired of going through low quality games on Steam? Let's talk about how bringing back the Steam green light could be a solution we need. Hey everyone, welcome back to Tailplay. I'm Vasheral and today we're going to talk about a hot topic in the gaming community. Steam green light. With so many poor quality games making their way to Steam, it's time to revisit the green light system and discuss how it could help improve the overall quality of games on the platform. So let's get started. So first, let's answer the question, what is the Steam Greenlight? Steam Greenlight was a system introduced by Valve back in 2012, allowing the community to vote on which games they want to see on the platform. Developers would submit their games, often including descriptions, screenshots, videos, and sometimes even playable demos. The community would then vote on those submissions, and games that received enough positive votes would be approved to release on Steam. This system empowered gamers to have a direct influence on what titles made it to the store, ensuring that only the most promising games got through. Now, why was it discontinued? In 2017, Valve replaced Greenlight with Steam Direct. The change was intended to simplify the process for developers by allowing them to pay a fee, initially $100, to publish their games directly on Steam. However, this also removed the community ability to filter out low-quality titles. With Steam Direct, as long as developers could pay for the fee and meet the basic requirements, their games could be published on the platform. This led to a significant increase in the number of games released on Steam, but also a surge in the number of poor quality, shovelware, unfinished or outright scam games. Since the introduction of Steam Direct, we've seen a massive influx of games on Steam. In 2017 alone, nearly 7,000 games were released on the platform, compared to just over 1,000 in 2013, when Greenlight was in full swing. While more games can be seen as positive, a lack of quality control has become a major issue. Many gamers and developers have voiced their frustrations with the overwhelming amount of trash games, titles that are poorly made, blandly copied, or even filled with malicious content. This flow of low quality games makes it difficult for players to discover quality titles and for genuine developers to get their games noticed. So what would be the benefits of bringing back green light? Well, the first one would be community engagement. Allowing gamers to vote on which games should be released ensures that only titles with genuine interest and potential can make it to the store. This not only filters out low quality games, but also builds a stronger connection between developers and their audience. The second reason would be quality control. Developers would need to present their best work to gain approval, leading to a higher overall quality of games on the platform. The necessity to win over the community community's vote acts as a quality assurance step that Steam Direct lacks. My third reason would be developer feedback. First, direct feedback from the community can help developers improve their games before full release. This interactive process can lead to a better final product and more satisfied players. Additionally, it gives a smaller developer a chance to build hype and gather a fan base before the game officially launches. Now, of course, with the new release of early access games, this would be an actual problem, but I believe that the green light system could potentially allow games in early access, like indie games or AA games or even AAA games to come out in early access as long as they present enough quality and they get the go from the gamers. Now, there's a big question over here about how could the green light work today? If Steam green light were to come back, it could improve modern features to make the process more effective. First one would be improved voting system. Enhanced tool for feedback and voting could make the process more efficient. For example, incorporating a weight voting system where votes from users with proven history of reviewing games carry more weight. Second one would be quality metrics, using user reviews and ratings as part of the approval process. Games with consistently high ratings and positive feedback during early access phase could be fast-tracked for release. The third reason 
reason would be developers' accountability. Implementing stricter guidelines and follow-up to ensure quality, developers who repeatedly submit low-quality games could face penalties or restrictions, ensuring that only serious and committed developers participating in the green light process are allowed. The fourth one would be the payment system integration. Before paying the fee required for the releasing a game through Steam Direct, developers would first need to pass through the green light system. This ensures that the community has shown interest and approval for the game. Once the game receives enough positive votes, the developer can then proceed with the payment and final steps for the official release. Or if it's the case of an early access, they would follow the different process which I'm not very much familiar about. This two-step process ensures that only games with genuine community backings are published and we don't get to see all this garbage being released by publishers that just want to cash in or scam somebody. While Steam Greenlight was far from perfect, plagued with issues of quality control and discoverability, it represented a bold step towards democratizing game publishing. The program gave countless indies developers a chance to bring their vision to life, even if those visions were sometimes needed a little bit of polish. With the right changes, such as enhanced curation, better support for developers, and more transparent community feedback, a revisited green light could return stronger than ever. In that, it has the potential to once again become a powerful platform for fresh, innovative games to reach players worldwide, providing that great ideas don't just come from big studios, but from anywhere, given the opportunity. That's all for today's discussion on Steam Greenlight and why its return could be crucial for improving game quality on Steam. What do you think? Should Vault bring back Greenlight? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel really helps a great deal. I'm Vashral and as always, stay safe, take care and happy gaming.